Jacob's Well is a treasure. It's, it's one of Texas' most beloved springs. It's a deep underwater cavern that divers have explored over 5,500 feet back into the aquifer. So we think it's the second longest underwater cave in Texas and the source of, of Cypress Creek. The beautiful cypress lined creek that runs through the city of Wood Creek and Wimberley and the beautiful Blue Hole swimming area. We've made large investments in protecting Blue Hole and, and uh, opening that up as a regional park in partnership with the city and, and the state. And uh, as we all know here locally, uh, all that starts with Jacob's Well. The source of water is really unique because it's one of the largest springs in the Trinity Aquifer system. It's primarily the sole source of this waterway that threads through these two beautiful little uh, villages in the hill country. It, it means so much to our community, not only here in the Wembley Valley, but for uh, Hayes County as a whole. We're uh, blessed to have uh, wonderful natural resources and assets uh, throughout the county. Uh, no area more richer than the Wembley Valley. Our mission in life is to preserve the spring flow at Jacobs Well and Cypress Creek, which it produces the flow in Cypress Creek, which goes onto the Blanco and into the Guadalupe River. When I first moved here, many of the small springs along the creek, creek side would flow year round, and those, those don't flow anymore. Jacob's Well stopped flowing uh, now three times in history. That is not just because of drought, it's because we are over pumping the aquifer or mining the aquifer. We're interested in Rebecca Springs because it's a classic example of a well being sunk right above a spring. And when they turn the pumps on at 250 gallons a minute, or uh, they basically stop the flow of the spring. And we're dealing with the same sort of situation there at Jacob's Well in Wimberley. Rebecca Springs, you have such a, a, a graphic uh, and very direct uh, example of what's happening on a regional scale. As more and more people want to access groundwater, uh, there's going to be more and more impact on the surface water uh, in the springs of, of the state. And I think already in Texas we've seen about a third of our major springs go dry. And even uh, under the current conditions, we're withdrawing more uh, than is sustainable uh, to support the spring flow at Jacob's Well.